Delivering local news to the San Juan Basin from our studios at San Juan College, TriCityNews.tv. Hi, everyone. A night of violence in Gallup, New Mexico, kicks off another super blitz to fight drunk drivers. Parts of Farmington High School will be getting a new look over the summer. And city councilors Darnell and Fisher take the oath for four more years. I'm Scott Micklin. It's nice to see you. TriCityNews.tv is coming up next. Last year, Taco Bell released the Taco Supreme with a shell made of real nacho cheese Doritos in a few cities, none of which were anywhere near the hometown of Nat Christiana. So, Nat drove his friends 965 miles to get it. Well played, Nat. The new Doritos Locos Tacos. Now in Taco Bells everywhere. Sometimes you gotta live mas. Two unrelated crime sprees in Gallup last night left several people hospitalized with conflicting reports as to whether there were any deaths. The Associated Press is reporting that a 15-year-old and a 40-year-old man were both killed in a shooting last night at the Pinion Hills apartment complex on Daisy Street in Gallup. However, Navajo Nation spokesman Ernie Za says one of the victims was flown to UNM Medical Center in Albuquerque, the other taken to Gallup Indian Medical Center. And then that's where the shooters allegedly showed up again, shot another victim in the parking lot. The suspects fled in a car. The driver later gave himself up to McKinley County Sheriff's deputies while the teenage passenger took off, only to be caught later by Navajo police. In a separate incident around 8.15 last night in Gallup, a suspect tried to carjack a customer at the Shell station near Interstate 40. The suspect shot the victim in the face, then fled the scene. And then, at 8.55 last night, a man approached a person in the parking lot of the Navajo Nation's Fire Rock Casino demanding money. When the victim refused, he was shot in the face with a BB gun. Ernie Zoss says a total of 10 shots were fired. Nobody arrested just yet. The BB gun shootings remain under investigation. New Mexico Governor Susana Martinez, Navajo Nation President Ben Shelley, and the New Mexico Department of Transportation kicked off a DWI super blitz earlier today on US 550. The Super Blitz will target impaired drivers during the St. Patrick's holiday weekend in order to reduce traffic accidents involving drunk drivers. The Farmington School Board approved a bid for about $758,000 for repair and remodeling work at Farmington High School. The project will include a remodel to the administration area's heating, ventilation and cooling system. The gym lobby restrooms will be remodeled while the hot water pipes will be replaced along with new ceilings and lighting. The project by Usselman Construction is slated to be completed over the summer, will be paid for by money from a 2010 bond issue. Farmington City Councilors Dan Darnell and Mary Fisher were sworn in Monday to serve four more years. Dan Darnell. Having been elected. Having been elected. To the Office of City Councilor District 1. To the Office of City Councilor District 1. And is elected to the Office of City Council District 2. In the City of Farmington. In the City of Farmington. State of New Mexico. State. Both incumbents won their bid for re-election during the voting on March the 6th. After the swearing-in ceremony, the full council convened to put in place the executive committee for the next two years. The committee consists of city manager Rob Mays, city clerk Diane Furman, city attorney Jay Burnham, and city treasurer Andy Mason. Twenty volunteers help members of the San Juan Animal League with the second of nine scheduled rabies clinics. The low-cost vaccination clinics, which have been offered for more than 30 years, always draw a crowd. Tinker is 15-year-old female, not, not According to San Juan Animal League President Joel Farrell, about 300 dogs and cats received their shots at each clinic. And with nine clinics scheduled this year, an estimated 2,700 animals will be served. If you missed this one, the next clinic is going to be April 15th over in Bloomfield. May 13th at Kirtland Elementary School, June 24th back in Farmington, July 29th at the Aztec Senior Center, August 25th back in Farmington, October 7th in Bloomfield, and November 4th at McGee Park. All the clinics run from 12.30 until 4.30 p.m., and you can find out more information at SanJuanAnimalLeague.com. Another nice and mild day here in the Tri-Cities, and the sunny weather should continue for the next several days. Let's take a look at the weather forecast. Overnight tonight, mostly clear skies tonight. We'll have a low of about 31 degrees, more bright sunshine and mild weather tomorrow with a high of 68. Tomorrow night's low about 31. Then take a look at Thursday. We'll hit 70 degrees for the first time this year. 
Lots of bright sunshine, 34 degrees for a low, no rain in sight for the next several days. Coming up next, Devin Neely with sports. Thank you, Scott, and hello, sports fans. Well, we here at TriCityNews.tv pride ourselves on bringing you news that you can't find anywhere else. Same holds true for sports, so hang on. It'll be a wild ride, and first off, swimming. The Four Corners Aquatic Team holding a fundraiser swim-a-thon. That coming up on April the 23rd. Swimmers in the pool for a good cause, and can you imagine how pruney they're going to be? More information available by calling Coach Mike Ortiz at the number on your screen. And from the pool to the river, the San Juan Fly Fishing Federation, a great local group, and planning to host a fly fishing film tour this Friday at the Marriott. That in conjunction with the San Juan Guide Association. Tickets $15 and doors open at 530. Also, free fly fishing seminars. That's coming up April 21st up on the river. More information online, sjfff.org. Finally tonight, bowling, and can you pick up a 7-10 split? New summer leagues now forming, and leagues for every day of the week, every age, every skill level. More information available at Bolero Lanes. Everything from the young and the restless to cosmic and leagues for the seniors. And that's about it for sports. I'm not sure there's anything else I could talk about. I'm Devin Ailey. We'll go back to you, Scott. Thank you, Devin. And on behalf of all of us at Majestic Media and San Juan College, thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.